So we've got the half anniversary part two Black Asta patch notes that will be from for the maintenance from I'm pretty sure that is um, 8 p.m. EST on Wednesday to 11 p.m. EST on Wednesday. So it's pretty good times. We do rather this than fucking 1 a.m. on the Thursday. So yeah, at least now we're back to like very, very late on Wednesday. And I'm personally expecting greatness. Um, we need greatness because the part one of the half anti did not really do much. Great rewards, right? That was it. Nothing new, right? Not really anything new. Um, they promised us that because because Hall of Illusions was moved to general dungeons, before it was in uh, limited, right? Before it was in time limited dungeons, and I'm sure a lot of you don't know because in global, it's straight in the general dungeons. Now, they promised us that on JP, when they moved it to general, in Season 7, they would give us a time-limited version of it, and I've heard no mention of it, so we're going to have to see. Now, what I personally am very excited for is going to be the Witch Forest. Bro, we're going to actually be able to see the Witch Forest in Black Clover Mobile, and that to me is sick. So we're going to have World 7, Patrol Stage, Witch Forest, Outskirts, and there's going to be a new Hall of Memories, or Memory Hall, and then New World. So all of that is very cool. I'm very excited for this, honestly. And, you know, I love the worlds. I love looking around in the worlds. And to me, this is a nice thing. And obviously, we have Black Asta, bro. Black Asta is coming until the 4th. So what I didn't realize is that the actual dates or the, like, banners themselves were for three weeks. So we will also be having Julius. So this, to me, is, like, actually really exciting. Um, I'm pretty excited for that. Now, um, oh, yeah. So this, I was, I knew I was missing something. So... This is Asta's art, okay? Look at how beautiful it is. So we're going to play through uh, the gameplay a little bit. So I'll show you guys a bit of what he, it is. So he's a red defender, just to start off. These are his skills, okay? Now his skill one, we'll go into it. So this is going to be applying the um, HP, it's not, I'm pretty sure it's the HP block. Uh, now this is going to be, without the anti-magic obviously, going to be applying the defense to everyone on the team. And then this is the ultimate, which I... Is it me if I... I don't know. I feel like we're missing something. It has to be... I'm pretty sure they skipped out the middle, right? And was that... Was that Vero? Okay, yeah. I feel like they skipped out of it. But this, though... Oh, wait, the intro. Let's go. Okay, I'll have to take a perfect screenshot of that later. But yes. It's going to be out for three weeks, which usually banners are out for two weeks. So that is very good. Um, I'll talk about Black Asta more later. So now, Knights Arena. What What is this? Um, I'm pretty sure... Is Knights Arena new? Is Knights Arena the actual, like... Is Knights Arena actual guild boss? Or not, not guild boss, guild wars. And not just guild versus guild, like, points match. We're going to have to see. I'm hoping so. That would be sick if it is. I don't know. Because they said they would fix it. So maybe they have, it's just the normal guild versus guild point system. But a bit different. We're going to have to see. But the, whatever it is. The Knights Arena is going to be better than it was before. And if you're playing on global. Better than what you're going to get. Because they didn't fix it on global yet. So we'll have to see. But if they did fix it, that's good because it's not just going to be a gear um, grinding for like two weeks. So it's going to be from the 22nd to the 28th. Ooh, I'm away for that time. Okay. Well, I guess this patch is going to make it fine. I just open my phone, put it on this patch, and then do that throughout the day. Okay. Now we've got the guild boss also. All right. That's fine. So it's going to be for two weeks. All right. Honestly, this is good. I like that they're bringing it every season. Um, it's very quick. I just wish they would add the quick battle. You do it once and then you have you could skip the other two. Um, that would that to me would be really good for when it's two fucking weeks long, and you've got other stuff to do. Uh, personally, I would like a skip button. If you could beat it once, you could beat it two other times. Everyone knows you brought it to everything else, so bring it to this. I think that makes sense. And yeah, uh, honestly, it's really good though because it gives a lot of skip materials. And I mean, I don't. I don't mind that. I really don't mind that. Um, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, yeah, so just our regular every single season go boss. Then we've got the limited time uh, Fakidna one, where this is the other raid that you guys, on if you're on global, don't have. It's going to be the skill page dupe one, which I don't really mind, but 
I feel like uh, we could have gotten the Beto Gigas one uh, just fine. So this is kind of confirming I need to actually buy the half anti pack that gives the uh, universal dupe because I'm gonna only I'm gonna only have four universal dupes for Black Asta and just in case I get Giga shafted, I'm gonna need five right. I'm gonna need five. But yeah, um, I don't know. I just hate how it's like one or the other between the universal skill page or the universal uh, mage dupe because this only gives one because it gives one universal skill page and then one random like SSR ticket. A skill page ticket, but it's with only the unfeatured base game dupes, not even like the ones they added in after launch. So I don't really like that. Now attendance at event commemorating the appearance of Black Asta. So I guess we're gonna get uh, a login for Black Asta, which makes sense. I don't know what else you would have really expected. Can't tell if that's just gonna be like four tickets or whatever the fuck they're doing, but they're probably gonna give like a multi or some shit. I don't know, but uh, it's gonna be some login stuff. So Christmas roulette event. This is the only, bro. Okay, all right. Uh, Merry Christmas roulette event. Mission to acquire ginger cookies and then exchange shop. As long as the exchange shop is like good, I could take it, I guess. Right. Uh, new limited time event. Action power consumption burning time. Subjugation war burning time. Wow, so lovely. Five new limited time packages, so three limited summon packages, equipment acquisition support package, daily limited summon package. This better be good. Daily summon package, I hope it is. Now, some packages have ended. The first half addy step up packages, that's going to be it. Then um, there's going to be the Steam Lobster package that's ending. And then there's going to be new event products, uh, being the limited pickup summon ticket, and then Asta all in one pack. This is kind of scaring me, dog. I, I don't know how to feel about that. Okay, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. I just hope these packs are not exactly insanely expensive. That would be bad to me, okay? Then um, the equipment transcendent system where if you feed one dupe, it doesn't have to be max level, just one dupe of a gear, of the same gear into another, then they're going to increase their rate stats up to four times. Ugh, okay, um, well, I guess start saving your gear, guys. Ugh, okay, well, that to me is, like, a bit yucky, but at least it's not substats. It could have been much worse if this was RNG-based, but it not being RNG-based is fine. So the same LR equipment is used as a material for equipment transcendence and can progress up to four, level 4. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Wait, sorry. Oh, no, fuck. I shouldn't have spoiled myself. Um, when equipment transcendence, uh, where is it? Is... Level 4 is achieved, uh -huh, an ad additional auxiliary, which is substat option, which grants from one of the auxiliary options is open. Aux aug uh, additional auxiliary options can be given overlapping options when existing options and can be enchanted. Oof, oof, so it could be another version of the same substat, which means it's going to be RNG. If you use it, okay. Options for additional substat options granted by equipment transcendence can only be uh, changed with deal and can be changed up to three times. So you're able to reset the substats of that additional substat once you get to the four dupe stingy three times with gold. Okay, at least it's with gold. That's that's fine. And if you use up all the counts, you can reset them using the same LR equipment. Okay. I mean, it's better than I thought, but it's still going to be annoying, right? Now, equipment housing, uh, Christmas props, and interior. I'm going to try to get for this, because look at this guy. Look at him. Look at him. Man, I need this. I need this. So, yeah, system improvements. Improved night boss battle. Opportunity to obtain the feed points in the boss battle has changed. Before, from 20 to 50. The exposure uh, schedule of uh, products that can be purchased through the Knight's Conquest coin at the Knight's shop has been changed. Constant exposure and then exposure during content progress. I don't really like that, but if it's every season, it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, uh, Arena. All right. Improvements have been made so that blind slots can be applied on the battle preparation screen when the revenge button is touched. The Arena lower, line bl uh, lower league blind slot system has been added. However, lower leagues could apply one blind slot. That is still really good. You really can't go wrong with that. Um, I mean, hey, that's that's decent. Um, can't really... I'm not, I'm not bad, actually. That's pretty good. Uh, big W, big W. Pickup summon. The probability display for custom pickup summons has been improved. Man, I wish they would say what, but... Okay, alright. 
Uh, some mages' voice lines will be changed. Hopefully, Mars's, because I don't want to hear you. I want to know a haizo suru, soda dake da, like another time, right? Uh, direction image when changing equipment options. A numerical grade display is added. Resources of some images are modified. And then some other stuff. That's it. Um, okay. So the one thing out of everything that they decided to add was the equipment transcendence. That's what they thought for half any would be great. That's the only new system we've gotten in half any. Um, okay, I'm not really too happy. If, if I'm going to be honest, I'm not really too happy. Because if we look at this, there was not really much else that they added. They had the 999 pool. That's the only banner. Then they had the rerun banners. Then they had a pretty meh event. Great login, right? Great rewards. That was it. If we look at it, this whole thing was just them just shitting out rewards. And then real time. Against friends. I, I don't know. Um, I don't really know. But let me try to find the tweet that I'm trying to talk about. This. So, Hall of Illusions, a limited time challenge, will be changed to a regular challenge to make the content permanent. Additionally, in Season 7, the Hall of Illusions, which is different from before, will be held as a limited time challenges. This content is still in development. We have strengthened the battle gimmicks on each floor so that mages can enjoy them strategically. We are working on a compensation that matches that. The new Hall of Illusions will be announced through an official forum. In the future updates, we will provide you with more detailed information. So it just got, it just got like scrapped or something. So we just lost it. We lost it. That's it. The only thing that they have in this update is Black Asta and then Witch Force, which to me is great. It's great. It's great. But they promised that. And now we haven't gotten it, right? No new seasonal. So season seven to me, honestly, for half Addy, has been a flop. I'm not going to lie. Now, is it a great time to start still? Yes. Black Asta and Julius. If you have none of them, this is amazing. But I'm still... I just can't rub the feeling that we were kind of robbed. But that's that's only me. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you guys think. And peace.